Hey y'all, Darren here with another episode of Body Isolations, and this week we're going to be doing isolated meltdowns. So of course, for prerequisites, you're going to want to know how to do your meltdowns, absolutely. And week three of the Body Isolation series is also going to be really helpful, the Buzzsaw ISO Pirouette. All that said, we can go ahead and jump in. I'll be spinning counterclockwise here, and I'm going to start with my left hand coming over to the non-native side behind me. I'm going to keep some space between my left hand and my stomach here to create that isolated look. I'll then bring the hands back to the native side, sometimes having the poi tether drag somewhat across my stomach. I personally like this, though it can be done without it. For the other side, we're going to bring the right hand around the body to the back side. And then as you bring them in, you're going to keep that space and you're going to lean forward to come out of it. The poi that's on your back may drag across your back as you come out of it, but that'll be the full meltdown. So again, we'll have that right hand come around, left hand come behind, you'll lean forward and come out of it that way. To put this all together, you'll do it as if it were a regular meltdown, but just keeping some space between your arms and your body and focusing really hard on leaning back and then leaning forward as you go through the trick. If you want a little bonus, as you're doing the backwards side of the meltdown, you can actually go ahead and do a pirouette out of it. I really enjoy doing this, just to fly out of it and have some fun. Anyways, I'll see y'all next week. I hope you enjoy it.